wrappers and recyclers and refiners. Moose here again. Um, this video is a video that I've been working on for quite a while. I've shot and reshot this video several times, um, trying to get it right. <laughs> it's um, a video that's been requested by a lot of you folks after seeing one of my videos on silver, where to find it in electronics. Um, this video is going to be a little bit longer. It's going to go a little bit more in depth on um, where to find the silver and how to pull it out. It's, it's really simple. Um, there's, there's not a whole lot to it. Uh, you don't need to be really fussy as far as you know, trying to get just the silver out of the contacts. Um, it's okay to pull some of that base metal out with it. So let's take a look. Alright, so one of the first places we're going to find silver in electronics is in silver oxide batteries. Now, how do you tell which ones are silver oxide and which ones aren't? Well, first of all, you look on them, and if it says lithium, not silver oxide. So you go through them all, pull out the ones that don't say lithium on them or anything else, like nickel metal hydride or anything like that, and those you can go online and, and look up uh, the company and all the information about the battery is right on it about the serial number and everything um, and you can find out which ones are silver oxide then you have to bust them up and process them with nitric acid which I don't use but I still save them to sell on eBay next we have a variety of switches All right. So. of places to find silver. Right. Circuit breakers usually have a nice big chunk of silver in them. Um, got one that's cracked open here. So wherever something makes a contact in there, um, and this one is going to be right, uh, right straight back in there, you're going to see a little um, contact there. And that's, that's made out of silver. Now, okay, obviously, I know I'm going to get people who are going to say this in the comment section. Clearly, if it works, it's worth more money than scrapping it. Okay? So if it does work, sell it. Uh, if not, scrap it. All right, some of the things in here like this, I believe, um, this piece right there on the end is possibly silver. And the armature there, it looks like it's silver plated. So, you know, with the, the bigger pieces, just take a file to it. If it's copper colored underneath, you know, it's just plated. All right, so that's breaker. Now, you're also going to find a lot of little boxes like this on circuit boards. They're, um, they're called relays. And if you open them up, right, you'll find a nice little spool of bright wire copper. And you'll see these two little flaps here on the end, all right? Now, these right there, that is a silver contact, right there. And how to remove that? Wicked simple. Take a pair of wire cutters, you get close to it, and there you go. You've just removed it. Now, yeah, there's still a chunk of copper to it, but that's fine. Um, when you process that in the acid bath, it's going to come right off. Don't forget the other silver contact on the other side there. Um, whether you choose to use nitric acid or AP, doesn't matter. The metal, base metal is going to disappear, leaving it with just the silver. Nitric acid works a lot faster. HCL or AP works a lot slower, but it's the only method that I use. All right, so we have a bunch of other switches here. Um, we've got these that came off of um, an electric range or stove. So, I'll show you real quick. This in here, Drew Metalsmith has a great video on these. Um, or he put together something that he just smashes them with. But if you see right in there, right here where contact is made, that is a silver contact there, and on the opposing side, uh, 
That is also a silver contact right there, that little round part. Okay? And again, that's all I'm doing to remove them. Just, just that. And it looks like... There's two more little contacts in there, yep. So you get another one. Another one right there. It's right... Right there. And the opposing one, or what it contacts with, is still right in there. All right, so that's for the, the stoves. Here's another one from a stove. Another bigger contact in there. Now some of these contacts are pretty big. Some of them are really small. Are they all silver? No, they're not all silver. Uh, the nice thing is um, you're still going to pull them all out just like you would if they were silver. And when you process them chemically, the chemicals will, will sort everything out. You know? So again, on this one, you've got the uh, the two from these arms, and the two that they connect with, right in there, and right up there. I don't know if you can see that too well. So you can see the little round part up on the top there in the corner. That's the silver contact, and same on this side. So, you know, you're also going to find them, you know, in, in these switches as well. This came off of an air conditioner. Other places you're going to find silver contacts. Um, this was from uh, an electric uh, heater. So, inside this piece back here, you're going to find the contacts. Let's see. This is from. This is another one from an air conditioner. Air conditioner. Dryer. Now, these dryer ones, you can see. I mean, this one, it's see through plastic, so you can see you know, the, the contact right there on, on both sides. And this should be some in here as well. from a coffee maker. So this little switch here and um, right there underneath that thing. This has silver on it right there. It's part of a little switch, the uh, little rotary switch on a coffee maker. I'll clip that off. Put that aside. So yeah, so the, it's they're, they're everywhere. They're, there's there's tons of them out there. Um, the thing with silver is that unfortunately, right now silver is about sixteen dollars an ounce, um, and it takes a lot of these to make an ounce. So again, I do this as a hobby because I think it's fun to you know, collect and make little silver and gold nuggets. But you know that's just me. You know, the nice thing is, is you know where it is, right? So there's, you know, whenever you see a switch um, on a circuit board, whenever you see a relay, you know there's going to be some silver in there. It may be small, but it's very simple to, to remove. And at the end of this video, I'm going to have a link to how to process it. Um, I'm putting, I put together a video on how to uh, remove all the base metal with AP. And I'm also putting a link to Drew Metalsmith. He's also a, another YouTuber who shows you how to um, remove all the metals and, and clean it up with nitric acid, which is infinitely faster. Um, it's a little bit more dangerous, but you know if if you've studied it, if you've researched it, if you've if you're at the point where you feel comfortable using nitric acid, it'll save you a ton of time. So yeah, so silver's everywhere. This is a doorbell. 
Um, and there's silver in that little clacker in there. For the um, when the connection's made, it makes the uh, little thing hit up against the bell. There's silver on that little piece. So there you have it. There's that, that video that uh, you guys have been asking for in silver. Um, I hope I answered enough of your questions. Yeah, if I haven't, you know, comment down below. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else you wanted to see regarding silver. Um, silver mylars. We got silver mylars, which is that part inside of a keyboard. You can also find them um, in microwave ovens and a lot of things that have like a, a keypad. Um, you can find lots of that in there. Silver solder. Now, most solder and electronics has silver. The problem is, it's going to be for the vast majority of it, it's going to be less than 5%. So for every ounce of solder you collect off a circuit board, only 5% of that at most will be silver. It takes <laughs> a lot of circuit boards to come up with an ounce of solder. Um, so you're looking at a lot of work, a lot of time, and then you have to chemically you know, separate out the tin, the lead, any other materials that might be in there, uh, molybdenum or, or whatever. Um, so, in my opinion, that's really not worth it. If you find, you know, if, you, if you're picking up scraps somewhere and you find a whole spool of solder, sure, that's, that's great. I mean, you don't have to, you know, go heating up and smacking circuit boards to, to get it. Um, yeah. I think, what else am I finding silver? Alright, so I think that's it for uh, the silver video. Again, if you have any questions, make sure you ask them in the comment section down here. Um, like it down there. Subscribe. It's free. And you might learn something. Or you might teach me something. So either, either way is good. So thanks for watching. See you on the next one.